Hello everyone, Dr. Ashes here. Another aspirin video. And the question is, should we swallow the aspirin or should we chew it? So basically, I had no idea I will ever make a video regarding how to take the aspirin because it's a tablet, you put it in your mouth, you have a glass of water and it's gone. That's as simple as I was thinking about it. But the more research I did, I found that the type of aspirin you take is matter at the same time. How you take it is matter. There are two different types of aspirin. There's a coated one and non-coated one. If you have a stomach problem, heartburn, uh, irritation, or history of the previous ulcer, you better go for the coated one. Because the coating increase the time of absorption. At the same time, it, it absorbs to the uh, bloodstream slower. It takes more than two hours for it. And at the same time, it's easier on your stomach. But if anyone has started to experiencing the sign of the ischemic, but if the person suddenly experiencing the symptom of the heart attack or ischemic stroke, they better chew the aspirin and you better chew one adult aspirin or four baby aspirin. That's the dosage that is recommended. You must get the advice from your doctor at the same time. So what happening when you chew the aspirin, within 45 minutes, it start to reach, uh, within 45 minutes, it reach your bloodstream, it work on your uh, platelets, and it reduce the blood clot and it thinning your blood. Therefore, if you're experiencing the heart attack or ischemic uh, stroke, by doing this, you can faster uh, reduce the blood clot. Therefore, the damage that can cause to your brain and your heart will reduce. As I discussed in my previous video, the hemorrhage uh, stroke is a different story. You should not touch aspirin if you are uh, in danger of a hemorrhagic stroke. And you must uh, discuss this with your doctor first. But that was for today. Very short, but I hope it was very informative for you. If you please like and subscribe and share with the friend you need you think they need this information and on my next videos I want to talk about some herbal medicine that can help you to reduce your cholesterol and also reduce the chance of getting a blood clot so till next time stay safe and well